Hi everyone! Someone recently asked me for tips on how they could make less mistakes when they're doing practice problems. I know this is a big issue for a lot of people, so I wanted to jump on YouTube quickly today and talk about five tips that I have in order to reduce the number of errors that you make when you're doing practice problems. So the number one thing that I've found helpful is to actually double check every number that you enter into your calculator before you press enter. Now I know this is really annoying, but I think it can save you a ton of time because it's going to save you a, a several times from having to redo a whole calculation or maybe not even realizing what you did wrong so you end up going through the whole calculation with the wrong numbers. So it's really important to just quickly take a couple seconds to double check each number you put in and that will really help reduce the number of calculation mistakes that you make with your calculator. My next tip, tip number two, is to get a multi-view calculator. Mine looks like this. I'll leave a link to the calculator in the description below uh, so that you can get your own but it has really helped me reduce the number of mistakes I made because it actually holds six lines of calculations so you can easily look back at what you've typed if you're unsure or you just want to double check and you can see what you've typed easily so I definitely recommend getting one of those it's called the TI30XS it's really the best calculator you can get for actuarial exams, especially exam P. Um, I'll link up here, up here, wherever it goes, um, to a video I did about the best calculators for exam P and FM, so you'll definitely want to check that one out if you haven't already picked up your calculators. The next tip I have for you seems really simple, but it's something that always caught me, and that was that you have to write neatly. If you take the extra effort just to write neatly, you'll make sure that you don't mistake numbers for different numbers. It happened for me all the time. I'd accidentally think I, or I'd read a nine and it was actually a zero or a zero was a nine or who knows, an eight was a three. It's really easy when you're trying to rush to scribble numbers down and then later when you go back to put them in your calculator or you do a calculation, you use the wrong number and that can mess you up. So I definitely recommend doing that. The fourth tip that I have for you is to always draw a diagram. This is huge in saving you time because of calculation mistakes. If you're writing FM, you'll want to make sure that you're always drawing a timeline. If you're writing exam P, then you'll want to make sure that you're drawing out your Venn diagrams. You'll want to make sure that you're drawing out your graphs that you need to use for your integrations. It's really important to do this because it's so easy to mess these things up and they don't take long to do. That's the other thing. You're going to spend far less time drawing a diagram than you will trying to go back and figure out what you did wrong. So just do it right from the beginning, create a diagram, get that done and move on. Tip number five is to never do a calculation in your head. I don't know about you, but I am not the best at doing math in my head. So even if I have a really simple calculation, I will not do it in my head when I am doing practice problems or an exam. And that's just because I know when I'm rushed, I'm even worse at doing calculations in my head and I will mess up. So I always make it a point to use my calculator to do even the simplest equations. Like if it's two plus two, fine, but if it's 13 plus six, then I will do that calculation on a calculator just because I wanna make sure. And it has really helped me reduce my errors. And I'm gonna give you a little bonus tip. This isn't necessarily for when you're doing practice problems, but one thing that I've found to be really helpful is if you get to the end of a problem and your solution isn't matching with any of the multiple choice answers, the best thing you can do is take 30 seconds to try to figure it out, but after that, move on. Do another question, Go do as many questions as you want, but come back to that question later with a fresh mind. And I really think it's best if you don't use the same calculation that you were doing before. I recommend you completely start over. And that means that you're starting fresh and maybe Maybe in your original try at the question, you made a silly mistake, 
Well, if you do it fresh on a new piece of paper without looking at your old solution, it's going to mean that you're not getting that stuck in your head again. So you'll be able to hopefully find your error that way. It's happened so many times for me where I look and spend five or six minutes looking at my solution and trying to figure out what I did wrong. And then if I just come back to it later, I, I realize that I just made a stupid integration mistake or something like that. And that will save you a ton of time if you just move on early and come back with a fresh mind later. So I hope this video helped. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're not already for more study strategy tips and advice for exam PNFM. See you in the next video. Bye!